Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Super Rugby Pacific. Crusaders beat Hurricanes as commentators are bemused by Artie Savers disallowed try new competition. Same old Crusaders. The most successful team in Super Rugby history were far from perfect during a 42-32 win against the Hurricanes in Dunedin on Saturday, but they survived two yellow cards and were on the right side of every big momentum shift as Lester Fanganuku started his year with three tries. The Hurricanes had a year's worth of bad luck, having three tries ruled out for the officials for a variety of reasons and they will have reason to grumble about the ruling that prevented Ardi Saver from scoring what would have been a fine individual try in the second half. Super Rugby Pacific kicks off this weekend with Aratas vs Drua, Chiefs vs Highlanders, Crusaders vs Hurricanes, Reds vs Rebels and Brumbies vs Force, all streaming at free, live and on demand only on Stan Sport. Sign up for your free 7-day trial. Commentators bemused by disallowed try that move found a knock-on from veteran prop Ben May in the build-up, but it was marginal at best. Still, you have to credit the Crusaders who seemed to feast on every bit of Hurricane's ill fortune. Their set-piece was dominant when it needed to be, and in typical Crusaders fashion they managed the game superbly when prop Oli Jago was sent to the sin bin towards the end of the first half. Read more. Storm Secrets spark Super Rugby epiphany for Rebels in the early quiet surrounds of a near-empty Forsyth Bar Stadium, the opening quarter felt like a training run as the Crusaders cruised to handy lead on the back of two tries to Fanga Nuku. At that stage it looked like the Crusaders' WOULDNT need to get out of third gear, but the Hurricanes sparked into life as Wiz Goosen, Geordie Barrett, Artie Saver and Azaf Olmur started to get their hands on the ball. The Hurricanes created plenty of opportunities, but the Crusaders bossed the third quarter as Fanga Nuku collected his third try from a clever line-out move and no 10 Fergus Burke kept the scoreboard ticking over with his accurate goal-kicking. For a daily dose of the best of the breaking news and exclusive content from Wide World of Sports, subscribe to our newsletter by clicking here. That blasted their 15-13 halftime to a handy advantage the Hurricanes COULDNT run down, despite the best efforts of the outstanding Barrett. The big moment Hurricanes hooker Azafo Olmua was denied a try at the end of the first half for a double movement, his knee clearly hitting the ground before he had a second crack and powered his way over. That would have put the Hurricanes into an 18-12 lead with an easy conversion to come. But from the resulting penalty the Crusaders marched upfield, won a penalty of their own and took the three points to head into half-time with a 15-13 lead. Match rating 7 of 10. It was messy at times, and the first quarter WASNT inspiring, but it picked up after the 20-minute mark the big picture the Crusaders returned to Forsyth Bar Stadium next Saturday for the Southern Derby against the Highlanders. The men from Dunedin were poor against the Chiefs on Saturday, but the Crusaders will need to tidy up their discipline after conceding too many in the first half. The Hurricanes have a Sunday afternoon fixture against the Blues in Queenstown, and will likely be without Duplessis Kaifi, who left shortly after half-time after taking a heavy blow to the hip. MVP it is hard on three-try hero Lester Fanga Nuku, but Geordie Barrett was quite inspirational for the Hurricanes. The big fullback just carried on from where he left off last season, while Ardi Save also started the season in strong form. Scoring details Crusaders 42, Lester Fanga Nuku tries 8 minutes, 11 minutes, 51 minutes, penalty try 65 minutes, Shiloh Klein 69 minutes Fergus Burke 2 cons, 3 pens, Simon Hickey con. HT, 15-13. This article originally appeared on stuff.co.nz and is reproduced with permission.